Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. It has finally stopped raining. Yay! Let's pray it holds off because in exactly one week's time, Sir Banksy, keen bean looking boy there, and I, fingers crossed, touch wood, will hopefully be getting out to our first event of the season. We have entered Morton. It's about three hours away. It's in Dorset. They have also had a lot of rain. I think the whole of the UK have. Um, oh, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, he's gone off doing zoomies. Bye. Getting in your own fitness work, mate. Oh, he's just jumped the gate. Oh my goodness, Banks. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's literally just jumped a five bar gate down there. How did you get into He must have gone over the hedge. There's no way he's jumped a gate. Or have you broken the gate? Hmm? Hmm, no injuries please before next week. Right, I am going to um, go and get them out of there and then we will rendezvous and have a little catch up. Basically, I'm having a proper chore day. Get everything done. Get the lorry ready, fingers crossed for eventing next weekend. Robbie's getting the motor home ready because a few days after, fingers crossed, our first event, we're heading off on an adventure in it with the doggies and our friendies aren't we yeah. getting all ready babe what are you doing uh checking the water drains because we're going to have a lot of water on it checking all the drains because all we're going drains. to have a lot of water on it and, white house. and you've been insulating it because we're going to the mountains basically two years ago when we went skiing in la plan we flew with friends as normal normal people majority of people do when skiing we flew and then towards the end of our holiday our friends Fee and John with the chocolate labs that you guys will have seen on the channel before Wilbur and Chloe they turned up towards the end of our holiday in their motorhome with the doggies and oh they ran across the bottom of the slope and saw me at the bottom after I'd skied down oh and it was just so cute so lush and I was like I really 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 want to do that one day with our doggies because we had been thinking at the time about buying a motorhome and as you all well know we did last year we went on an epic adventure down to the south of France at the end of last summer and I did actually have lots of questions from people about travelling with dogs and getting their AHCs and their vaccines and everything like that so I am assuming if some of you will watch it going to make a little vlog about that when we do go in approximately 10 days time I think it is so yeah that'll be in another video comment below if that does interest you because it is great fun it's definitely something that I would highly recommend going on holiday is amazing but you always miss your fur babies at home and if there are opportunities that make it that you can take your doggies along with you then I would highly recommend it because we had the very best time in France back in the end of August stroke September and again hopefully fingers crossed going to have the best time when we take them skiing with us towards the end of the month. Do you calm down now? Thanks, he just jumped in here, Robert. Yes, naughty boy. I don't know how Dink's got in though. I think he must have gone over the hedge. He's calm now. Obviously the grass was greener and Dinks loves using the tractor as an itching post, don't you? <laughs> so silly dinkle anyways back to today's video guys it is i was gonna say the third and final but it's not it's the fourth and final installment of our training when we were up at simon's it's taken me a little while to put this one out in all honesty because ever since we were up there both meg and i got poorly been feeling absolutely rotten i would say it's potentially one of the worst colds i've ever had it was only a cold it wasn't like i wasn't bed bound but i just felt awful i was really struggling with my breathing it's really bunged up snotty grotty eyes streaming and just really really lethargic so i haven't actually 
felt like picking the camera up and doing my intro because up there also I literally had run out of energy completely. As you can tell, I will leave in some of the <gasps> in the video, but I might edit some out because some of it is just awful. I was, yeah, I was struggling, but needed to embrace the opportunity, needed to make the most of being up there. Um, and yeah. I will admit our last jumpy session wasn't my favourite of the three jumping sessions that we did up there with Simon, but that was just a reflection on how I was feeling as opposed to the training itself, obviously. Um, Banks picked up on it. He was getting a bit tired too. He'd had a busy few days and I just, yeah, did not ride to the best of my ability. So I was a little bit gutted with how the session went but like I say it's not a reflection on Simon's training at all he was brilliant and he definitely made it go the best it could have gone considering how we felt um and actually looking back when editing it editing it it it, it didn't go as badly as it felt that it did at the time I think just at the time because it was such a struggle and I also knew that the drive home was going to be a chore I just yeah wasn't really in the right headspace for that lesson however it was still beneficial and still aided us because like Meg said as well there's going to be days like that when you go competing and you feel under the weather and you can't just pull out you've got to crack on and get on with it which is what we did and yeah I think I might be being a little bit harsh on myself but it's probably one of the reasons why I've left this video a little bit longer to get out to. But before we get into the footage that Pete at Granite Lens Media very kindly and amazingly captured for us, I'm very excited to be partnered up with the fabulous team at GS Equestrian again. You may well remember I did a video with them prior to Christmas, a Vlogmas episode actually. It was when I rode the lovely Dazzle, Cameron's gorgeous mare up at Bicton. And we also collaborated with GS Equestrian when they invited Cam and I to speak at London Horse Show in the live zone with Rosie Tapner too. So yes, you may remember I paired up with them on both of those videos and I'm excited to have them sponsoring. Today's video too. Now they are an online retailer. They sell absolutely everything you could need for your horse, your yard, your pets, accessories, tack, buckets, safety wear, dog beds, country clothing, footwear, competition attire, everyday riding attire, hay nets, stud kits, you name it, they sell it and they are very, very kindly offering a 10% discount code for my followers for the next seven days. Code TINA10, you can apply at the checkout, which will give you 10% off the majority of items on their website. There are some terms and conditions, which I will pop in the description box below. And then going forward after the week of the 10% discount going forwards, you will be eligible for 5% off every item also. Now they do do free delivery for orders over 50 pounds, which, I'm going to show you what I've ordered, some essentials for the yard and in here something very nice for my Sam Sam that will definitely be being packed into the motorhome prior to us heading to the snow. <laughs> I said Banksy could do a new feed bucket, I love how they knew just the one that I used for him and sent it in Banksy blue. <laughs> ah, that's very kind. I definitely didn't order that, but they very kindly sent me a, another saddle pad, close contact one by the looks of it, which will go lovely for training because I do actually have mainly white saddle pads. So it's nice to have a darker colour for when training. Thank you very much guys, much appreciated. This feels all a bit posh. I am intrigued. Very nice packaging. Ah! A nice brush for cleaning out said feed buckets. Oh, hay nets for the boy. <laughs> Definitely gonna need that prior to eventing. Some purple shampoo. New hay nets for each of the boys. Blue for Banksy. Easy tie drip feed small hold net for Dinkle, little piggy bum. And Sammy's coat for our Holly Bobs. I spotted on their website that they had a weather beater comfy tech therapy coat. It said it was good for promoting blood flow, healing, 
and good for Sammy's old joints. Keep him warm whilst also giving him added aided circulation. So I thought that would be great for him. Although I hope it fits him. I hope I measured him correctly. We might have to go and try that on him shortly. And then last but by no means least, pretty sure this is something for me in here. We have got... Oh yes, no, I was a good girl. I was sensible. I stocked up on hair nets because there's nothing worse than going to put your hat on prior to dressage and realising you can't find a hair net. So I've got a good stash of them to put in my hat bag in the lorry. And then also I learned my lesson from at Bicton last year, guys. Remember my disastrous morning where Banksy broke out of his stable, went down to the dressage arenas by himself prior to me getting him ready, and then also stood on the tap and snapped it off in the stud hole, well, I did get a replacement tap whilst up at Bicton from one of the trade stands, but I thought I don't want that to happen again at any point this year. So I encourage all of you to always keep a spare tap in your stud kit so that if it happens, you can then carry on and stud the other holes up without needing to go and get the on-site farrier or beg, borrow and steal off other people. Ah! New feed stirrer too. Wee. Matchy matchy. And then we have, oh, forgot about this, a pair of their riding tights to try out. They feel a nice material actually. I don't actually have, apart from one pair of really old winter ones, I have got a bit of a hole in the pocket. Um, I don't actually have black riding tights. So quite nice to have a pair of black because obviously when you wear black it matches with absolutely everything including hopefully and this is something that I spotted in their sale. They do a huge array of brands by the way guys. If you go and look on their website and search through the brands there are way too many for me to list stroke remember but what I did spot is that they stock horse pilot and I had some items from Horse Pilot probably about four to five years ago now. And I will admit, I actually haven't seen it around that much since then. So I was really excited when I saw that they stopped Horse Pilot. And I ordered this, which was in the sale. I hope it fits me. It looks quite small. I did go for the large, but it does look quite, quite a fitted style. Shall we give it a try? A nice mid layer. Oh, nice long sleeves too. Oh, literally could well be made to measure. I thought it looked like it might not fit me, but voila. Oh, we like it. Very, very, very nice. Can I do a twirl in here or do I need to go outside and do it? Oh, I do really like that. I like the sleeves and the neck. Very smart. Nice and um, stretchy too, so it's not at all restrictive. That's a very nice neck actually. Very smart, me likey. Right, that fits me. Let's go and see if this fits Sam Sam. Because I'd love to say if it doesn't fit Sam, we'll fit Pops, but <laughs> she's actually bigger than him now. Hi babies. Hi, yeah, you have to find me a toy, don't you? She's like, no, I've got no toys. I can't get to my toys. She likes to give you a toy every time you greet her, don't you, darling? Don't you? Right, Sam, Sam, can we see if this fits you, please? I don't know if you might need the next size up, my babes. Hmm, and you're longer than him now, so it isn't gonna be any good for you, is it, if I've measured wrong? Hope I haven't measured wrong. Come here, you. Let's have a looky. Stay there, sit. No, I don't need you. <laughs> I need Sam, Sam. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Mummy might have... It might be absolutely perfect, my boy. Papa's not on the camera, babe. It might be absolutely perfect. What do we think? What do we think? Might it be perfect? What do you think? Go on then, turn around and see if you can run. Woohoo! <laughs> Daddy, what do you think of my coat? What do you think, say? I think bigger would be too big, in all honesty. I think it's absolutely fine. It's got to keep the rain off your back or the sleet or snow and not be restrictive for your moving. Give us another run. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Good boy. 
Oh, babies. Yeah, I think that's perfect, don't you? Do you think that fits Sam okay? So. Maybe an inch, like, in an ideal world, an inch longer, but it's 55 centimetres or 60, I think, and I think 60 would be too big. Yeah! Happy days! But yeah, look how big Pops has got, guys! She's huge! You're massive, aren't you? You're a big girl! You're taller than Sam Sam, longer than Sam Sam. Not as heavy as Sam Sam, thankfully. <laughs> this is where Poppy is more like a whippet than a Labrador. It fits you lovely round the chest. It fits you lovely down the back. <laughs> Look at the overhang on the Velcro on the belly. <laughs> you are like a little whippet, aren't you, darling? Yeah, I don't need kisses, thank you. Let me see, I think. Yeah, we'd have to cut that off if we got you one like this too, wouldn't we? Hey. Beautiful girly. So huge thanks and shout out to GS Equestrian for not only replenishing the essentials, primarily this, but also for a few lovely new items to put to the test over the coming months. Remember guys, code TINA10 for the next seven days to take advantage of 10% discount off the majority of brands on their website. And as I say, there are numerous brands pretty much absolutely everything the country girl should want or need is available on their website i will link it in the description box below okay i am going to take this off and put my oh look <laughs> just seen that you can put your phone in the pocket and have your headphone cord oh actually i don't need that because mine are wireless on that note i don't actually know where my airports are at the moment i need to find them i'm going to go and find them i'm going to get on with my chores and i'm going to hand you over to the footage of us having our final jump session with simon up at field farm and yeah just disclaimer i'm actually not that hideously unfit i have been going to the gym two to three times a week recently i just had the worst cold and chest but thankfully we are on the road to recovery and i will be eventing fit next sunday touch wood pray it runs and yeah enjoy this content guys thanks for the support on the other few videos that i've already uploaded and yeah hopefully i will have an eventing vlog coming your way very very soon and then followed by a take the doggies to the snow vlog. With the quality of canter, uh -huh. what, did he, what was he working on with that, Alex? Keep it big but compressed, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like energy. Yeah, energy. but not energy. Yeah, and keep his head up, which which we know over the last few days here, I've been struggling a bit because he's been so enthusiastic. He's, he's been, yeah, but he's he's been tucking up, which is not really something he normally does, but I think he's just like, Whoa. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see what he's like having done a little bit of work. Yeah, exactly. What, what I'd like, like to think that he'll be a bit more okay. amenable today. Okay, so let's go. Is that the word? Right, okay, let's have a little trip trot. Um, Tina doing her show jumping, yay! She loves it. Simon's doing the intro. <laughs> Very smart today. Oh, thank you, darling. Very you don't have a mic, smart. so I hope they can hear what you're saying. You look smart, babe. Pay you later. SCIB. Oh yeah. I'm all branded right up. I'm. I don't actually work with Limia, so I keep my hand like that. I'm insured by SCIB. <laughs> One-handed jumping today. <laughs> hey, they, aren't they brilliant? They are. They are. To be in all seriousness, they are absolutely. Brilliant. Over 60 years in the business, you know. They've been insuring my horse box as long as I've had it, and they wow. have just, they have done such a good job with it. And when it's gone wrong, they just deal with it. And yeah. When I've needed recovering, it's been recovered. It's a very amazing, good, like comprehensive package that they give, isn't it? Well, with that, regards I, to I, break. To be honest with you, I don't really know. <laughs> I just kind of. But they've always got answered what your told needs. Me I should get, and it's been brilliant ever since. So. Yeah. Ah, that's good to hear. He's feeling less feisty than the first time we came in here this trip. Touch wood, it Good. stays I that mean, way. To be fair, he couldn't really be much more excited. <laughs> he, was, he was super excited, wasn't he, bless him? Good eyes boy. Up. My eyes. <laughs> Not yours, up. Banks, mine. Shoulders back. And then let's play a bit with the gears here, Tina. So move the trot on down the long side, medium to halfway, balance, and then go again. 
good all the time, feeling like you're really riding in from that inside leg into that outside hand. Without looking down. Without looking down. <laughs> that would be great. Good girl, that's it. Level in both reins, sitting square in the saddle yourself, really thinking about your position here and making sure that you're going with him, not ending up on the little bit on the back of the saddle there, yeah? Oh, was I when he moved forward a bit? Then you're a little bit behind the movement. We want to make sure that you're going with him, but without getting too forward in your shoulders at the same time. That happens, that balance that needs to be found. Good girl. And then go again. Good boy. And a little bit like Meg was doing earlier, leg yield away from the track, then back to the track, and then back away from it. Really thinking about the bend and where the flexion is, and the flexion's where you want it to be, yeah? So also, it's all on your terms. Sit up. Oop. Relax. So many things at once. Try to make sure when you're doing those leg heels, Tina, that we've not got those shoulders leading. We want hey. to be just a little bit more parallel than that, yeah? So in order to do that, you need to add popping little half holts so that those quarters can catch up. Good girl, and then straight, then that little change of flexion, and then off that right leg. Again, shoulders back, sit up, <laughs> breathe. Good boy. Keeping him forward, off that left leg. That's it. Good boy. Better. And then back again, right flexion. Good boy. Good boy. Excellent. Forward to hands right. Let's do that counter transition again. It was a bit delayed, wasn't it? It was just a little bit, he was a bit behind the aids and it was a little bit running. Right flexion, right bend, prepare. Good boy. And let's straight away, we'll start playing with those gears, yeah? But keeping that pole up all the time. And then back again. Doesn't need to be crazy. And try and get it, Tina, so he comes back from your body weight rather than you having to go to your hand too much. When you go to your hand, he's ducking behind the contact, yeah? We still want him to take you. So keep that pole up, keep that nose up, and then ride forward up into that downward transition. I know that sounds so uh, incorrect, doesn't it? But you're riding forward into a downward transition all the time. And I want you to see if you can collect that canter on the next short side as much as you can. So show me a huge difference. Pole up. Use your body, stay strong in your core. Even more collection. Outside rain, pole up. Even more, collect. keep collecting, even more. Keep the leg there, shorten those reins a little bit. That's it, and then pick up that right canter again. Good girl, now pole up and collect. Pole up and collect, that's it, there, good. And then softly forward into that medium, doesn't need to be crazy again, that's it. Contact to get. And then pole up, collect as much as you can. Good boy. And then across the diagonal somewhere, change the rein, forward to trot, and then we'll canter the other way. In fact, we'll do a little bit of that leg yielding on, in trot first, actually, this way. So down the next long side, we'll do that little bit of leg yielding. So leg yielding away from the track and then leg yielding back to the track. Thinking about keeping him, uh, keeping him parallel, so he's not leading with those, sh uh, with those shoulders, or that shoulder, that's it, good girl. And a little bit of left flexion, keeping forward, look where you're heading to. And there we lost the right shoulder, yeah? Did you feel that? Yeah, Let's and impulsion. On. That was yours, sorry? And a bit of impulsion. Yeah, exactly. See, you don't need a trainer, man. <laughs> good boy. A little bit of outside flexion and off that right leg. Make sure we're not. Ooh. That's it, good girl. 
And Good then boy. back again. And if he's leading with that shoulder, half out with that right rein. Good boy. Good girl, well done. Once more down the next long side. Good girl, and then back again, keeping him forward. How did that feel? Again, I just liked a bit of impulsion again. Yeah, what about his uh, body position? His bend was better there. Good. Because um, on the way out, I had the wrong bend. Yeah. Uh, OK, so being really particular here, right flexion, off that right leg, good girl, then straight. A little bit of left flexion, then off that left leg. Half good hold, boy. Using that shoulder. Good girl, well done. And then forward to counter left when you're ready. Prepare for that transition. <laughs> and then softly playing with, playing with those gears. Softly in your seat, soft, that's it. Wait into that stirrup, relax that knee. And then forward, medium. Little bit of shoulder four to keep him straight. Yeah, we're just going a little bit for those core. That's better at the end there when you were thinking about your turn. Yeah. So a little bit of shoulder four feeling so that you can keep him a little bit straighter within that medium canter. Good girl, that's it. Outside rain and bringing him back. Now collect as much as you can again. Keeping the leg there. Pole up. Again, make sure those reins don't end up getting a little bit long. Canter. That's it, good girl. Well done. And then shoulder four again to keep him straight. Good girl, just like that. Well done. And then next time that shoulder four with less neck bend. Collect. Good girl, well done, and then forward again. Shoulder four feeling. Relax that knee, outside rein, collect. And then forward to trot, keeping that pole up. Good boy. And then we're gonna do that left hand transition once more. Because it was just a little bit unbalanced last Yeah, time. it was. Good girl. Good boy. Right, now, we're going to keep that good quality canter, round and pop my cross pole. And then immediately turn left in between the yellow fence and the brush. So sorry, Pete, we're coming down that way. Hold up. Level rhythm. Level rhythm. Good girl. Well done. And again. I want you to keep that punch and keep that jump all the way through the turn. Keep riding forward. Good boy. And then it doesn't matter so much if he ends up popping in that little extra stride if he's got the power there, yeah? That yeah. doesn't mean speed, though. That no. means energy and jump and punch. And also think about keeping your eyes up so we're not looking at the floor, especially on landing. Keep the same rhythm. Good boy. Think about eyes up, eyes up, thinking about straightness. Let's come and do that once more. I'm going to have to strip, I'm sweating. <laughs> You're sweating? Yeah, I'm boiling. <laughs> well done, you warmed us up. Do you want to take a layer off? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ooh. We need energy in that canter all the time. <laughs> yeah, the energy you had yesterday, Banks. Or day before, was it? <laughs> Good boy. Energy, jump and punch. That's great. Got to turn. Outside rein, outside leg. Rhythm. Good boy. Eyes up. <laughs> you are a very naughty girl for looking down, yeah? I Again? am. I know. Turn, turn, turn. Especially on landing. You've got to remember the getaway is so important. Eyes up. Good boy. Good girl, well done. Okay, you have my right a leg on. for a second. Hey. 
Oh, what? Just have a breather for a second. So that was better there, yeah? Yeah, I felt you better. came the around there with a little bit more conviction. Uh, I thought the quality of the counter was better. I counted in my head a bit. Counting is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, I know lots of people are like, oh, you shouldn't count. Well, I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey? Well, counting... One, mean, two, what is three, wrong with What four. is wrong with that? Well, I don't really know. Um, yeah, because I think, I, think really, I think it's a really good thing. Because <clears throat> it, ma it makes you ride a better rhythm, I think. Right. Oh, we're going to, similar to what I did with Meg, we'll just do a few lines and build it up and then we'll oh. jump a track, okay? Yeah. So we're going to come around and jump my pink oxer here and then curve to the yellow. And all the time remembering, energy up to the bridle. Do you see Meggie? Yeah. Eyes up. Let's come and do that straight away again. And I want you to be thinking a little bit more as you come to this pink, slightly more right to left, and looking towards that yellow, yeah? Go on, work change. the canter, work the oh, energy. Boy. Now look to your yellow and ride to it. Go. I knew that was going to happen. Good boy. He's such a clever little chap, isn't he? I know, because he doesn't just change the last one, he changes the, the one before it too, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's, and, that, and that's where I think you... I think you've got to kind of allow him to do that to a point. We've done it for 10 years. Because that, I was going to say, because that is him. Yeah. And that's how, that's how he rolls, and that's how he kind of works it all out. And he'll never take a flyer. No. He would never down, go on a long one, down, ever. He's always popping yeah, yeah, yeah. in. Like, 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 like jumping that fence into the water. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he, and he was on a lovely shot, and he was like, you know what, I'm just going to put another one in, just because. Yeah, because yeah? I like to put my knees up. Because well, I think that makes him feel a bit safer. Yeah. I mean, obviously, something like when we come down our four strides yeah. here, I think we do need to get it so that he does go on that four-yard yeah, yeah, yeah. step. But I think with something like that, I'm, I'm not quite so... Yeah. You know, I'm not going to make such a big thing. Just need to stay straight and balanced, don't Absolutely, I? So that, yeah. yeah. And again there, you were... You a bit, yeah. Eyes looking down slightly on landing there, yeah? Yeah. And again, like similarly to Meg earlier, uh -huh. think about that getaway. Yeah. The getaway is really, really important, yeah? And with him, just every so often, when you look down, then... You're influencing the balance and also yeah. you're influencing straightness. I drop to the inside, don't I? Yeah. yeah. Right, so let's come and we're going to pop through uh, orange, four strides to this. And that's one, a one? One strided double, yeah. It's not a bounce, no. <laughs> Definitely not a bounce. I came down it uh, this morning mm. and um, I built this yesterday for horses, obviously, and then people came in and used it last night and they've moved everything in. And, and I came down there on this nice floor and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> wow! <laughs> I was like, I can't, I can't believe I built it so short, what a loser! And then I was like, <laughs> oh no, it's all been moved. Ooh. Relative, relatively, yeah, yeah. Look! Keep your eyes on that double now. Go on. Whee! Oh, we tried for the one blessing. Good boy, well done. Straight round, T, and let's do I that know. again. To what, sorry? Straight round and let's do that again. Yeah. I backed off the first part, didn't I? Ever so slightly. Which didn't yes. help and him. He just took, and he, um, he kind of fed off that a little bit. So come round that corner. Make sure you're not being positive in your body, you're being positive in your leg. Good girl. One, two, three, four. Good boy. Eyes up. Bend, round that left leg. Good girl, well done. Have a breather for a minute. Now, how did that feel? Yeah, better, but I still drifted left a bit, didn't I? Ever so slightly left, yeah. yeah. But I thought the energy was loads better. I thought you had a little... A little bit more conviction that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Right, we're going to come down with treble. <laughs> and exactly the same thing, thinking energy and travel down there, yeah? I say energy and travel, actually, I don't quite mean that. I mean energy, punch, 
and rhythm. Yeah. Because I think travel will encourage you to go too fast. Because what is the striding through the treble? Uh, two and one. Two? Okay. Two and <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loving the energy. Keep that punch. Get on. Yep. Oh, he I was committed, he wasn't. And all the way around again, Tina. Now move the canter on down that long side. You can go for that gallop now. And then body up. Keep that energy you've created. That's it, but condense it. Now keep travelling with that. Rhythm, 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 and then leg. Woo. Good boy. And once more. Let's oh, come through there with confidence. Again, move the counter on. And then balance, but by using your body, not too much hand. Riding him to the contact, not too quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rhythm. Boy. I didn't okay. help him. So have a breather for a second. I didn't help there. him there, bless him. So what do you think happened there? I didn't say straight into the takeoff and then. Uh, that, that, aside from that, what did you think? So it's, it's, it's this with him, with those chipping in, it's all down to quality of cancer. Yeah. What do you think happened here that, that was different? To the I time? just lost my balance. When you came down here, you opened up the cancer. <laughs> didn't bring it back yeah? properly. And we didn't bring him back to a connection, yeah? yeah. We kept, you, you kept on coming in that unbalanced, <laughs> yeah. quite open step. You've got to get, well, for me, Good. you've got to absolutely go for it down that long side. Have a good gallop, because yeah. that creates energy. Yeah. Then bring your shoulders up, contact, <laughs> connect him up, up, well, condense the canter a little bit more, yeah. well, a lot more, but keep the energy you've created. That's what we're really aiming for. And uh, like I felt that time, you came around the corner. We were on a quite an unbalanced long step. Yep. And we hadn't actually got that energy back, like the con the condensed yeah. part back. The bounciness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I felt then that we came. We were on an open step, and we weren't on the best distance. No. The fence. Yeah. And then so and then he's like, oh, I've got to chop him, chop him, chop him that. His back legs went under him, were they? Then we have Oof. to chip in that extra one. Yeah. yeah. So we, what we're going to, we're going to leave that for now. We're going to come back and do it as a track. Yeah. And I think he'll be better doing it in a track. Yeah, as well. yeah. But the time before yeah. was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I just got left a bit behind. Was like, exactly. Whoo! I just wanted it to, the, I wanted to do it again because I wanted it to flow more for you. Yeah. Um, because it was quite, it was good for him. But uh -huh. I just you, thought you were a bit out of balance. Yeah. But there's, but we'll come and do it again it's as a track. From here to me, that just looks like a hell of a long two. I don't remember watching Jam go down through it, but she did, I think she made it look easy. Yeah, no, it's 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 quite it's quite a nice two. To okay. <laughs> but also, you're not gonna you're not gonna have a treble. Like, you know. We're quite capable of putting three in a double uh, a normal competition. <laughs> but we right. don't like to. What we're gonna do next? We're gonna jump my red and white oxer. Yep. Curves to the black and white. To the white. black, yeah. Land and turn left. And then the red and green, straight on up and over the red and white again. Yep. And you want six through that? Uh, yes. <sighs> but I also want you to, I, I want you to think more about the quality of the canter and the energy that you've yeah, got. Yeah, not the jumps. The they just get in the way, don't they? Yeah. Which is very easy for me to say, but actually yeah. quite hard to do, yeah? But I want you to be focusing more on that energy and quality of counter step. Energy, jump, punch, pull up. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, disunited. Sorry, sweetheart. Are you really disunited, Banks? You are clever. Boy. He's too bloody good. He is bloody. very clever. Right, let's talk that through straight away. Uh, I, so didn't really do, did I didn't really do a lot to help him, did I? What did you think about your initial approach? 
to that part was okay, wasn't it? So I felt like I you, cut put the quite small, you put quite a small circle in there to get the quality counter. Okay. I think you needed more space. Okay. Uh, if it was me, I would have got, get, gone round, perhaps gone and run Pete over it. Yeah, because I guess that can press the counter a bit Just too much. Just got a little bit bigger. Yeah. And then brought the counter back. Okay. A little bit like we did down this long side, yeah? Yeah. On the circle side. I just felt like there you were kind of making your life more difficult than it needed to be. Yeah, because I guess then I had to try and come bigger out of that circle and rather yeah, than... Yeah, that's kind of the feeling that I got. And then, so then therefore you were slightly on the back foot already. Mm -hmm. And then he ended up just chipping in. Then when you landed, well, tell me what you thought about when I you landed. didn't run straight at all. <laughs> I felt like you, really, you went to your inside hand quite I went, ah! Yeah. And because I think you were thinking about that. Too. And I actually remember filming Meg thinking, she stayed straight for ages. <laughs> Well done, Meg. But you, I felt you went to your inside hand a bit too quickly. Wind but him out. You should be riding the outside anyway. And yeah. when you went to that inside hand, then he went, he went for, I don't know whether it was disunited in general or just for one step, he went disunited. Yeah. yeah? Uh, and then carried it on around the whole corner. And, the, and then at that point, your mentality, as you approached the black, you were like, oh, I'm making, get a, over it. I'm making a right hash of this, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's where you need to be people like, OK, I've made a ha right, how can I help? Correct this, yeah. Yeah, come on, ride forward. And then Bless when you him. landed over the black and white, you're, oh, you're like, oh, he's so good. And oh, thank God we managed to get over it. And I can't believe we got over that, actually. And by that point, you're on top of the next one. Yeah, <laughs> so actually you need to try. And it's Focus. really hard to do, but you need to be thinking, right, when I land over that black and white fence, right, come on, now sort, sort this out, Tina. Out. Help him to, like, do the job properly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then ride forward through the turn, but also have him round that inside leg. It's a little bit like um, with Meg, when you land, get him off that inside leg. Yeah. A little bit more bent, so he's not coming around counter yeah. yeah? Because when he does that, he falls in. Yeah. And then when he falls in, it gives you even less space. Yeah, because there's not that much space there anyway. No, true. And then when you've got that little bit more space, you can freshen the counter back up a little, because you can take a moment to organise that. Whereas I felt like you landed, you weren't really kind of there anyway. <laughs> Um, and he fell in, so he had less time, and then so he was always going to struggle with that. I told you I wasn't feeling very well, and you should have rode him. <laughs> <laughs> but but now I am enjoying it, even though I'm making a hash of it. <laughs> yeah, no, but, you, but you're not. You left them all up. Hey, so well, you're not he making did. that much of a hash, of it, are you? <laughs> but I'd like to come and do that again, and yeah, I want so you to try and be properly. Get, I'm get going to try and ride like Meg. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Find your inner Meg. Well, I was trying to ride like Simon. <laughs> Well, in turn, together, hopefully. Uh, I don't know. Who do I think is really good? I think Piggy's quite good. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm pretty awesome. Yeah. That's it. Energy. Jump and punch. Pull up. Keep the travel. Good girl. And then look. Ride to it. Straight on the getaway. Round that inside leg. Keep the power. Sorry, sweetheart. Good boy, and travel again. Seven. Good boy, straight. Well done, good girl. Yeah, I still wasn't concentrating properly. Right, so we're going to do the track. Yeah. And I think you'll find it easier doing the track. So pink to yellow. Yep. Orange to double. Yep. Down your treble. Yep. Then yellow to pink oxa, going the yep. other way. Yep. Then, then your this. red to black. Yep. Mushrooms to red. Okay, and I'm not going to talk the whole time, all right? I want. Yeah, I'd like you to try your best to absolutely focus on the job yeah. in hand until you've finished, ridden a straight line and ridden a good turn. Yep. Yeah. Before you even start, Tina, I want you to go for a good gallop down that long side. Yep. And then. Rebalance, bring your shoulders back to balance, but contact. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got jump and punch and energy. Yep. But that doesn't mean going round like a crazy person either. <laughs> no motorbiking. Yeah. Yeah. And making sure that we've got connection so we're not on that long, flat, unbalanced stride. Uh huh. Great energy. Now capture that energy. You make use of it. Then land and ride forward. Good 
go. Forward to that turn. Look, your orange. And forward. Good girl. Contact, connection again. Don't get too long and strung out. Land and threat. Good boy. Organise. Look. Good girl. Well done. Keep that body still and those elbows still. Use your leg. Good boy. Look. Round that inside leg. Land and right forward. Go. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Yeah. How did that, how did that feel? Loads better. Yeah, it was very good. We need to come and just do this line again. Yeah. And you've just got to be thinking, T, about when you come round that corner and you feel like you need to do something to move him up to the fence, because you can see it, you can see it as good a stride as the next person, that it's not go. I know, I flap, don't I? Yeah, and so do I. <laughs> yeah, so, but that, but we've, we've got to both try and be a bit more like, right, come from the leg, squeeze yeah. up to that. Yeah. Wait a bit more. I, yeah, yeah. If, it, if in doubt, I'm terrible for a flap. Especially when I'm in a really pressurised situation, I just, that I just and I don't know why I do it because it ought to help. Other than I'm, <laughs> other than I'm ba unbalanced the horse, yeah. So when you come around that corner and you feel like you need to press, squeeze up, like squeezing that toothpaste you know, tube, whatever you want to call it. So and yeah. like when you came round and you jumped your yellow to your pink, yeah. I was like, this is great, and you had that lovely smooth rhythm round there, and then I was like, oh, she's a little bit off, but that should be fine. Yeah. And then you went like that. <laughs> Yeah. I went, go on that one, don't you And that's where you need to be like, close the leg and be like, there it is. Yeah? <laughs> Show him where to go a little bit more rather than doing that, which is going to make That's my go. silly little way of going, I'm not, I'm not having a chip in. <laughs> but you've got boy. to think how it's going to affect him. And he's, yeah. he's, he's going like, to, it's going to slightly unbalance him or make him think, what the is she doing? <laughs> or, oh, I had it down. Beep. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're fine. Sorry, what on earth is she doing? <laughs> okay, thank you. We're going to do it all, not all again, but, and then we're... All bar two. Yeah, all bar two, basically. <laughs> yeah, you might as well, to be fair, T. Okay. I just am not getting a good stride to that pink one any time. Should I take a slightly more inside track and then I won't get that one extra stride? Uh, no, because <laughs> then you're going to be jumping out this way. Okay. I would, I would say, yeah? Um, well, unless you want to go for putting those seven strides in, you could do it like that, but it's seven. just not the best training. I'd probably go more into the corner. You would rather go more into the corner? I think possibly, yeah. Okay. But when you're doing that, obviously, up, up to the bridle, <laughs> energy. He's a lot better, actually, isn't he, today with um, turning dropping behind you? <laughs> A lot better than he was the other day at going into the first fence, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says it's hard to work. It's a fancy on speed. <clears throat> right, OK, when you're ready, off you go. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's actually quite a long course. Yeah, there's quite a few jumps. Wee. Energy. More jump. Boy, travel. Good girl. Now remember, if you feel you need to move up to this, use your leg. Boy. Good girl. Refresh that canter. Round that inside leg. Think balance. Rhythm. Right. Good girl, well done. Yellow to pink. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 
เทคขึ้นบาลานซ์Eyes up! Come round and do that last line once more for me, Tina. Move the counter on down. Ooh, the counter. Ooh, ooh. Do that last line once more. Uh, I, I didn't help him then. I'd run out of energy, bless him. But yeah, I will. <laughs> Crikey! How did that feel? Other than being that is better apart from running out of energy. <laughs> I just more like committed. I just like him to do that last line just so it's just a little bit easier for him. Just because <coughs> he was really good there. He was very good. I thought you did a really good job because you jumped obviously quite deliberately over the mushroom, and then you landed and you like, come on, let's we go. We can get six. Yeah. yeah, which was great. Yeah, and even if you're, you need to be thinking not just about getting the six strides. It needs to be more like, right, you need energy to be able to do whatever distance and come on. Yeah. Good boy. He's like bloody hell. <laughs> just the two or the red. Just those two. Yeah. yeah. Round to your mushrooms and then straight to the red and white. Right, energy up to the bridle. Keep that pole up. Oh. Don't worry. Right, now that we've jumped to fence, we've probably got the energy we need. Oh, well, now you've ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Having jumped the fence, then you got the power that you needed, yeah? Yeah, but why am I not? I just can't find an even stride off that corner. Now, don't overthink that, Tina. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite easy to start thinking. I can't see one off that off that corner when you can. It's very easy to start thinking. I can't see a distance off that corner. Yeah. When actually you can. Yeah. So let's just pick up that can. Try and get. So when you jump that, he had quite a really good energy. Yeah. Right. And I want you to get the energy. Imagine like you've already jumped a fence. Okay. Yeah. So he's just taking you that little bit more. Bypass the fence. Go past it this time. And then round to the left circle. Now, more jump, more punch, more energy. That's it. Now keep travelling to that in that same rhythm. Squeeze off the floor. Good boy. Good boy. Big packs. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't push then either. I had to put seven in. No, so I thought you did the right, right thing there, yeah? Yeah. Because like you say, he is feeling a bit tired now. Yeah, he is. And you had him, you had him in a, in a less... Um, there was less energy in the canter. Yeah. But then he was nice and deliberate over that and actually jumped it in a really nice way. And I think also you can kind of take confidence from that as well. Yeah. You don't have to be galloping around like a lunatic <laughs> to get him jumping nicely. Yeah. Yeah. He can come in on a slightly more condensed canter and he doesn't need to be like proper like you're yeah. like charging around like a loon. Yeah? yeah. And in fact, actually, in some ways, he like he jumped that with more confidence. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he would always rather add. But yeah, he's just he is tired. Um, well done. Thank you. Did you find that useful? Yeah. Good. It is. It is really important that you do. Good boy. Course jumping. Yeah, I know. We don't do enough of it at all. Um, it's, <laughs> it's quite difficult to be able to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Like, if you live 20 minutes away from here, you can come and hire this all the time. And The thing is, back. I do live only 15 minutes from Coleraine, which is lovely, but it's just going on your own, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the same, but if you have a wobble, it's really hard to... Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. He says he's tired. He is tired. Oh, he says, get off, Mum. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Oh, baby. Are you all right? You're tired. He says, I like to pretend I'm young, but I'm not. <laughs> At least he was more rideable today. 
<laughs> I won't and, admit uh, it. And I thought the last two, couple of times we went down the treble, he made that distance up really quite well. Yeah, yeah, very true. But he's funny though, because like sometimes you'll go down that treble and he goes one, two, oh, well, I'm going to put a third in. Yeah. Just when, when he doesn't really need to. <laughs> and then another time he'll go one, two, oh, no, I am going to take off. And then one time, coming through that confidently, I had to wait for the yeah, six. Yeah, he, he was almost... I was yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that time he was like, oh, I'm going to go on seven. Yeah. But again, like I was saying to me, you've got to be so... Good boy. You've got to be so aware of how you jump into a related distance. Yeah, exactly, and react and straight that, away. And, not... well, well, and that was what was so good about that the last time there, because you reacted straight away. Yeah. You, know, you were like, OK. So and I knew he felt a bit tired, so I would rather he put in seven than reach for the six then, wouldn't I? What are you looking at? Sheepies? Oh, wow, that's really cute. Aw, really cute. Cute. Cute, sweaty and slobbery. Which... <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, si Uncle Simon, I want to kiss, please. Yes, Oh, no, you're right. Oh! <laughs> he said no to kissing you. He says you have to have one. He says you have to give me a slop. <laughs> yes, you do, Simon. It's a very sweaty slop. It is a sweaty slop. What is this vibe? Uh, PS Sweden Nurak. Nurak? Oh, he says I need to wash, please. What does it do? Like it's it a bit like a Micklem, really. Oh, OK, OK. Boy. Fab, let's go wash yeah. him off. Yeah. I could do a shower with you, Banks, to be fair. Well done, love. You work quite hard then. Well, very hard. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> What's he spotted? Me? <laughs> Salty. <laughs> hey? That's a wrap. Let's go sleep, Meg. <laughs> oh, he's so good at He is. Oh, isn't he? He is a poser. <laughs> Oh, definitely ah. far away. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, you'll have to pay if you want me to uh, <laughs> emphasise, <that>. yeah. <laughs>